Holding someone accountable is the best gift that you can give them. Because ultimately when you hold a teammate accountable, a hold a family member accountable, you're telling them, I care so much about you and I care so much about us that I'm not gonna let you slide. I'm not gonna let you get away with doing less than your best. I'm not gonna let you get away with having a bad attitude. I'm not gonna let you get away by stepping out of bounds. I care so much about you and I care so much about us that I'm gonna give you the gift of accountability. And ultimately, that's what accountability is. Accountability is a gift. Now, it doesn't always feel that way when we're on the receiving end of it, but if you can get everyone on your team or in your organization to realize that when a teammate cares enough to hold them accountable, that is how you protect the sanctity of the locker room, as we say. That is how you protect your culture. And average organizations have what's called vertical accountability. That means the person at the top holds everybody else accountable. You do what I say or you're in a little bit of trouble. That is mediocre at best. What thriving organizations do, thriving teams and remarkable cultures is they also have horizontal and diagonal accountability, which means everybody holds everyone accountable. Not only does everyone hold everyone accountable, they have an obligation to do so. Because when they sign up to be a part of your team, they are signing up to trade some of the me for the we. They are deciding to invest in themselves to make those around them better. And in order to do that, we have to hold each other accountable. Which means it does not matter where you fall on the org chart. If you are part of that team, you have a responsibility, you have a right, and you have an obligation to hold everyone else accountable to the collective standards that you've created. And when we can get everyone on the team to be just as open to receiving that accountability as they may be to delivering that accountability, now we've got something special. And what happens a lot of times when you're being held accountable by a teammate is we often make a complaint or we blame or we make an excuse. We resort and default to a trilogy of things that does not help the situation. So we need to make sure that we create a culture that embraces accountability as a great thing. See, a lot of people hear the word discipline. This happens a lot with children. Children hear the word discipline and they have a negative connotation of that word. They believe discipline, discipline means punishment. I don't believe that at all. I believe discipline is the key to freedom. That if you're willing to be highly self-disciplined, you can have anything and everything that you want in life if you're willing to exercise that. And I believe the same thing about accountability. Accountability is not just about catching people doing things wrong. It's also about catching your teammates doing things right. And when you catch them doing things right, you praise them, you acknowledge them, you call them out. And you appreciate them with specificity in a customized way that makes them feel great about what it was that they just did to contribute to your culture. 